guys thanks for tuning in today I just want to show you how to polish the feed ramp um, on the well, the chamber and the feed ramp on a 1911 first thing I do is lock the slide back I have this little tool that I made here it'll help me uh, take it down there's a tool you can buy put it like that and just go ever so lightly and that's actually what it does it allows it to be easier to take off line up your takedown pin press it in out press it out and this will take out your whole slide it comes apart pretty easy then you can go ahead and take out your recoil rod assembly just got to finagle it a little pop right out Do -do -do. Go. and it's out take the barrel bushing out drop the barrel down slide it out this is pretty good as far as being polished it's an on-ramped barrel as you can see what I just take is a little mother's mag and wheel polish and uh, you just take it on your finger like that put it in like this or put it on a little dremel like that you only really need a teeny bit um, and this dremel goes pretty fast because there's it's like it goes pretty fast so most dremels don't go this fast you go right in the barrel like this in the chamber and then a little bit here and you can see the shine it's getting how shiny it is it'll shine pretty fast and then just get down here and you can do the ramp see the ramp here you can do this ramp like this. You can see how shiny that gets too. Don't work it. You could put a little white sandpaper, but this really doesn't need sandpaper. So there's a little pressure, and that's it. We'll leave it on this side here. And a little bit on this side. Pretty much done. So it turned out pretty good. It looks really nice. And you can give this another hit. Right about there and on the sides. And we're done. So you can get a paper towel. Or something like that. And just wipe it like this. Get in there with a paper towel. Get some of the polishing compound out. Dremels are usually always pretty, are probably the best thing to use. And see how shiny that is now? And this, uh, actually, ideally, you would want to also chamfer this out here further. See how it ends here? Chamfering it way up to there. You could dremel it out a little and chamfer it out. That would help a lot more. But actually, this is good enough for that. Pass that ramp in there too. Paper. And you get a really nice shine on it. See how nice that looks? You could take some dry, dry paper towels and just finish rubbing it out if you want a little. To make it even. And you got a really nice shine there. Put this thing down here. I did a further in the chamber because that's where your shells seat. They seat up and around there. See how that is? So you can do it another, give it another shot if you want. That's good enough. And then just take your paper towel in there. And you're pretty good. You're getting a nice shine on it. And putting it together. Pretty straightforward. Put your barrel back in. Put your barrel log or whatever it's called, barrel bushing. Take your locking log, push back. Put this in like this. Rest it down. Make sure it's square. Okay, take your barrel, hold it. Flip this over like this. Line it up. And flip your barrel over. Slide over. Line up your takedown hole. 
Okay. And this is a little tough on these. Um, this particular spring is just a little hard to get on, but take a little practice. Then lock it back. Pop off your little tool I made here, this little piece of plastic. And you're done. Uh, I always usually go ahead and drop a snap cap in there. Lock it back. And that's basically how I go ahead and uh, polish that out a little. You could spend more time if you want, but that's just polishing the feed map out. Thanks a lot, guys.